Hey everyone, Razor here again. Uh, this is my latest update. Let me take the camera out of the holder and uh, take you guys for a handheld thing here. Okay. Uh, it was lunchtime at the last time I uh, signed off, if you will. And I took a little bit of a break. So anyway, I'm finally at this point where I can finally take out the damn quill. And I'm telling you guys, this is a pain in the friggin' ass. I'm telling you. Unless you do this for a living, I'm telling you, this is a friggin' nightmare. Um... As you can see, I, I've got my screw assembly out of here. I forget what they call that. Uh, there, it's a name. I don't know. I forget now what it's called. But anyway, that assembly is right here. So, as you can see, this little thing right here, <laughs> it's supposed to be one piece. It's not. It's two. And uh, that thing... It was a pain in the royal you-know-what to get out of its little housing that is right there. It sits right inside there. And oh my god. So anyway, the reason why I had to do all of that is because... I don't know how well you can see in here. Let me uh, see if I can move my light. Swing this around here. There we go. Now stay up there. All right. So now my other biggest problem is this is supposed to pop off of the shaft. It's keyed down here. It's got two keyways in it. And only one key and one of the keys that I can see. But anyway, that friggin' gear will not come off of there for love nor money. And I don't want to break it. Um, my luck, I'm going to wind up breaking this whole friggin' housing. And this goes wraps around the bottom of this. And this gear sets on top of it. And with my luck, that friggin' piece is probably $500 if I break the damn thing. So, um, I don't know what I'm going to do at this point. Um, I guess I can slide the quill, finally take the quill out that way. When I was hoping to bring it out this way towards me and uh, go ahead and address address the skirt that's right here and uh, get that damn thing squared away. But anyway, um, like I said, I'm telling you, this is a royal pain in the ass. I'm trying to figure this stuff out. They've got set screws and, and set screws on set screws and... Uh, Oh, man, if you don't know where they are, um, it just locks up whatever you're trying to get out. And unless you find them, you'll destroy the the pieces taking them out. So you just got to be patient and just keep looking and licking and figuring out and, and trying to decide how in the hell they put the thing together. Uh, so that's where I'm at. So I'm ready, like I said, to take the quill out. As a matter of fact, here, let me... Uh, Put my camera back in the in the mount in my tripod here. Okay. Put you guys back in here. And uh see if I can't muscle this thing out of here. <sighs> Like I said, it's a uh, it's pain in the ass, <laughs> but it's a learning experience. So what the hell, you know? Just chalk it up to uh, learning something new. Okay, come on, baby. Okay.
something's holding it in there. And I don't know what. There it comes. A little wiggle. There it is, finally. And now you guys can see all that grease and shit that's packed up on the top of here. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Anyway, there's my damn spindle out of my mill. Set that bad boy over here. Move a couple of things. My broken little trip lever thing. Whatever that doodad's called. And uh, we'll just set my spindle down here so it's nice and safe or it won't fall and I really don't think that I could slide that skirt down inside here well, maybe I can let's see my hands too damn big to uh, fit into that bore So if I, uh, let's see here. I think I have every tool known to mankind out here to try to get this damn skirt out of here okay finally there it is that is the damn culprit right there and I just happened to find my old one that came out of my other mill and now that I have this out here, let me show you guys. Got to put on my damn spectacles so I can see too. Okay. Now looking at my camera from the back side, you can see these little tabs on the good one here. And this one's all fucked up. Excuse my language. And that one's practically missing. It looks like he's bent over. He's pretty much bent over right there. That I don't know how in the hell that happened, but this is the friggin' problem with me putting my quill back up inside the damn housing. So, what a royal pain in the ass, I'm telling you. So, that being said, like I said, it was definitely a learning experience for me. And uh, I'm smarter today than I was yesterday, I guess, in terms of Bridgeport disassembly anyway. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get things cleaned up. I uh, got quite a bit of cleaning to do on this thing at this point. Uh, you know, I got all kinds of parts everywhere. There's parts down over there on the on the corner of that table. Uh, I got parts over here stacked up right in there, and uh, got parts on my little table right here beside me that that I um, I can't swing around to show you that but anyway I got parts everywhere so um, I think I'm gonna see if I can fit this other skirt that I do have in here just so I can put this thing back together as soon as possible and uh, maybe order another one and uh, just have that one for my other mill when I get ready to reassemble that thing so anyway um, I hope you guys uh, 
aren't too bored <laughs> with this whole operation. Uh, anyway, uh, like I said, I'm just a country boy out here just trying to get shit done. So, uh, uh, and not destroying anything. So that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and call this, uh, uh, a series, let's just say of disassembly videos. And, uh, I'll go ahead and continue cleaning, get it all ready to put back together and bring you guys back. And we'll, uh, hopefully have some better, uh, reassembly videos. Cause, uh, I'm a little pissed off right now and uh, just unbelievable how this thing is put together. So, and you guys can see my book that's sitting right there. That's uh, That does help a little bit. It's not a great guide to walk you through every aspect of this thing, but um, I guess if you don't really know what you're doing, maybe you shouldn't be doing it. So, uh, maybe that's why it's a little difficult for me, but I'm going to persevere. You guys will see. So, anyway... Be safe out there. Everyone be kind to each other. And Razor Ray saying so long for now. Okay, see ya. Bye.